Art represents the culture it is a part of. Its details and nuances are impacted by the people it comes from. The Mongols are no exception. Their only difference is the amount of influence they receive. The Mongol Empire spread far and wide. It was considered to be a link between the East and West. It linked numerous cultures and, in turn, numerous art styles. When the Mongol army attacked a city, they would take the craftsmen and their families and have them work for the empire. This produced multiple different types and styles of art. Because of this, Dadu, or Kambalik, became a center for great artistic exchange. One item that was made in this center were the Mongol robes. Based on the robes of honor, they had the imagery of dragons, lions, and phoenixes. The inspired robes appeared earliest in one of the most distant kingdoms under the Mongol Empire, Armenian Sicilia. The Armenian kingdom responded well to Mongol visual culture and attempted to integrate it into their own art. This can be seen through small details such as a dragon on the bottom of a cloak. The Mongols also mixed with Iranian culture. A good example of this is the Book of Kings. This manuscript features many different figures, some of which appear to be Mongolian. Alongside figures, it also depicts different types of dress and different scenes that reflect the sharing of culture. The art of this book would have been drastically different had the Mongols not extended their reach. The Persians also used Mongol motifs within their art. Not just their paintings, however. The Persians also used imagery within things like pottery. Imagery that did not originally come from their culture. Persian art reflects other cultures that were under Mongol rule, such as Chinese-style clouds surrounding winged figures. The Persians also used art to depict the Mongols and how their two cultures interacted. Paintings of battles and invasions are a part of the style that comes from the Mongol conquest. Images of Mongol invasion can be seen in multiple works of art from different cultures. Another such example of this is the scrolls of the Mongol invasion of Japan. These scrolls include many different figures, scenes, and scenery, all in a style that is reflective of cross-cultural impact. Regardless of the actual outcome of the invasion, the two cultures still interacted in a way that would be remembered, and was remembered, through art. The Mongol yurts were also a source of beauty within Mongol culture. William of Rubric mentions in his account of the Mongols that their yurts were covered in lovely and varied works of art. He describes them as felt, worked into multicolored designs which hung from the doorways. While none of these really survive, they can be found depicted in paintings and manuscripts. This woven art would have traveled with them and be seen by those who entered their camp. These yurts had their own impact, as seen through William of Rubric. Marco Polo also had record of the art that he saw when he was in Chengdu, also known as Xanadu. He discusses the paintings and art on and around the pillars that are topped with things like dragons. He mentions images of beasts, birds, flowers, and trees. He makes note of the beauty of the painted walls, pillars, and doorways, and how they are gilded in gold. Images that portray Marco Polo's words are admittedly hard to find in painted sources, but modern creators try to relive the glory of Xanadu. The Khan that Marco Polo would have interacted with was Kublai Khan. Kublai was a big fan of Chinese artwork and had many Chinese painters working for him. He had a large collection of art and often sent officials to look for talented artists in the hope of drawing them to the Yuan court. Kublai Khan was a critical piece in the sharing of art culture. His love for art fostered meetings between artists who may not have met without being otherwise brought together. The Mongol Empire had a range of influence during the height of their power. While that power was used to conquer, it was also used to foster art and spread styles. The Mongol period was critical for art, as it helped to create a shared style that continued on into the modern world. While it can be assumed that styles and motifs would eventually spread throughout the world without the help of the Mongols, it is because of them that art prevailed into what we see today.